going to be multiplying today decimals times whole numbers using combination area model and place value chart. We're going to essentially combine them together. Some of the people call it rectangle sections. It's the same deal here. So I go ahead and create my, my rectangle. And I'm going to partition this rectangle into my parts. And I'm going to multiply them by 7. So if I start off with my ones place. There's two ones. The tenths place, I have seven tenths. The hundreds place, I have five hundreds. And the thousands place, I have three thousands. Now remember that when we're multiplying by a number, each section is getting multiplied by that number. So 7 times 2 is 14. I end up with 14 ones. 7 times 7 tenths gives me 49 tenths. Make sure you label this so that you know and you don't get confused. 7 times 5 gives me 35 hundreds. And last but not least, 7 times 3 gives me 21 thousandths. Now I can convert these into fractions or into decimals. In this case, I'm going to convert them into decimals. To start things off, if I have 14 ones, that's 14, right? I have $14. If I have 49 tenths, that's equivalent to having 49 dimes. If you have 49 dimes, how much money is that? four dollars and ninety cents if you have thirty five hundreds that's thirty five pennies and last but not least twenty one thousandths point zero two one go ahead and add all of these numbers fourteen plus four point nine zero plus point three five plus 0 0.021. When I line up my numbers, make sure that you're lining them up by decimal. I really am a strong believer in, in including place values so that they can help you line up your numerals and line up your decimals. So I would highly recommend you do that. Although you don't have to do that. You simply add 1, 7, 12, carry my 1, drop my decimal, 9, and 1. My answer is 19 and 271 thousandths. Now to use a standard algorithm, I'm going to do the same exact thing, but using the shortcut method, the standard algorithm. And, and this is why the standard algorithm works.